But today let's look at the final installment of our Haunted Night series and this one is entitled Ghosts. And I'll go ahead and give, it's not really a spoiler, but I'll just go ahead and give it away. This story is a, a, a retelling, well, not a retelling, what's the word? A version of the Christmas Carol. So, you know, Scrooge and the three ghosts of the Christmas past, present, and future, visiting him and everything like that. That's the setup for this story. But it's not, you know, sometimes, especially when Christmas time comes around, and if you turn on the Hallmark Channel, for heaven's sakes, or anything like that, You'll see there have been a thousand different retellings of this type of story, or reimaginings, and of course they've tried to update it to where, you know, one of them will have it as somebody in corporate America, or Scrooge is a woman this time, or all kinds of takes. And some of them are quite good, some of them are interesting and have a fresh take, others are just ridiculous and it's clearly just trying to, you know, appeal to that christmas light crowd. Even though this one is is going off of that relative outline of the Christmas Carol. It's all about Halloween. So this takes place the night before Halloween. And remember that the Legends of the Dark Knight series were about a Batman who was very young in his career. That was the whole idea with that series. So you weren't messing with current continuity. This was a Batman very young in his career. So this is a, a Batman who's young. And I love this story so much because, in fact, I would almost say it's one of my favorite Batman stories ever. It's not because it's it's written so amazingly or anything. I mean, it's it's a, it's you know taking the construct from a Christmas Carol, so it's not breaking you know wonderful new ground. But for the Batman, it truly is. And I don't want to give away too much. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about some of the specifics and the art there. But I will say that the basic gist about this is it's a Scrooge type story. So Batman himself is the Scrooge character, and it opens with a a heist of a charity event that he's attending as Bruce Wayne, and the Penguin comes to rob the place. And he's very brutal. He even says, take him down, be as brutal as you need to. The The whole point is minimizing casualties. And he beats him pretty well and you know, takes him down. And he talks about uh, how he's not, you know, not really interested in Halloween. He's talking with Lucius Fox at one point about possibly setting up sort of foundation for uh, for the poor or whatever. And he's not really interested in that because they don't understand that his goal in life is to be Batman. His goal in life is to honor that promise that he made to his parents about ridding Gotham of the crime that killed them. And he's really myopic about that. And I think what's interesting about that is that right there in a nutshell, that is your modern take on Batman almost everywhere. It's really ridiculous. Luckily, in some of the Batman Rebirth comics, especially the Detective comics, um, that's not the case. I really, really highly recommend the Detective Rebirth comics currently being put out. But uh, but too many places have, have just depicted Batman like that. He's just so driven, and he's so... And then they get to where he's just brutal like the Punisher, and oh, I've, I've talked ad nauseum about that in a video before October called The Batman Problem, so I'll link to that in the top right-hand corner as well for you to check out to really hear me geek out and vent about that. But the beauty of this story, and one of the things that makes it one of my favorite Batman stories, is that these spirits come to him to teach him the lesson that you, this is not enough for you to do in your life. You can't just be Batman. Uh, the Jacob Marley character is the ghost of his father because you get some flashbacks to how his father was just so driven and, and taken with his career. And even in some of the flashback points when he, he neglects coming home to take Bruce out for trick or treating because he's so driven by his career. I'm trying not to show you any of the big story reveals. Once you know it's based on the Christmas Carol construct, then you already know the kind of story outline to come, so I'm trying not to give you away some of the some of the main details. Again, we got the beautiful Tim Sale art, and I, I love Tim Sale's art because it's so artistic, even when I don't like the aesthetics of it. Like this is his penguin. I'm not crazy about I'm not crazy about the aesthetics of his penguin. I think his penguin looks a little weird. Looks like a penguin, but I understand what he's doing and I appreciate what he's doing. Tim Sale, as I've said before, likes to pick an element of the character and exaggerate it and try and use that to really make a statement about the character. Um, this is one two-page spread that's all all over the internet. If you Google Batman and Halloween, this one pops up all the time. doesn't really show the Joker's jaw there very well, but the Joker's got this deep, uh, exaggerated grin with these jagged teeth. Yeah, so you can see it kind of here and there. And uh, that's that's because that's what the Joker's, his main trait is that, is that... Uh, his insane, you know, his laughter, his, um, and what hides behind the laughter and what the purpose of it is. So for the penguin, we've got this exaggerated mouth again, but it's not like the Joker. The teeth are very small, 
And I think that's to say that, that the penguin's defining trait is his appetite, whether it's his appetite for acclaim and for his uh, slighted pride he feels, or appetite for the goods that he steals and for wealth and all of the ill-gotten gain he tries to, to, to get in the world. That's how Jeff Loeb writes him in these stories, and that's how Tim Sale portrays him. So I, I appreciate what he's doing there. Uh, Ivy shows up. Again, I don't want to go into too many details to spoil too many things for you, but Ivy shows up. Now, I will say one thing. If I could change anything about Tim Sale's art, I think you've got to give Ivy that red hair. <laughs> I appreciate the choice to make her hair be leaves and vines like that, but it just... And I love the way he draws her otherwise. I think he gets the femininity down quite well. Makes her this seductress, makes her uh, just the character she should be. I love the face, but she's got to have that red hair. Needs that iconic red hair. So my one, the only thing, the only critique you'll ever hear me level against Tim Sale <laughs> uh, is that. But, um, all right, so I won't show you too much more there. But the the uh, the ending is such a great payoff as well. So remember that this all takes place the night before Halloween. And he wakes up and he's got a choice now what to do with Halloween. And the ending, you read those last two pages... I, I defy you to find any Batman story today that would even remotely have this same outcome. It's uh, well, maybe some of the Rebirth stuff. I have seen a couple of the Rebirth things because they really are trying hard to return to what makes their characters great and the soul of their characters. And a lot of the writers, not all of them, but some of the writers are really trying to get Batman away from this uh, Punisher-like, you know, soulless vigilante core and nonsense that he's, they've gotten him into lately. But uh, just a great story. I know I'm being vague. I've, you know you know it's a Christmas Carol type story, but it's still very much worth reading. I highly recommend this volume as well. If you haven't picked up this volume, you might own The Long Halloween, or you might um, you know, think, well, I want to get The Long Halloween first because that's the one everybody talks about. And that's a great one. We're going to talk about that before October's out. But this one is, is a must-buy. Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale, Batman the Haunted Knight is just, just brilliant. And it really is a wonderful Halloween read because each story each of the three stories involved in here which i think were released in three successive halloweens within the legends of the dark knight run i believe but uh definitely highly recommend it